And this is uh, an update on a story that we covered about a month ago. Now, you remember there was a spate of yachts running aground in Maui, in Hawaii. And we reported on this vessel uh, called Kuipo. I think it's pronounced K-U-U-I-P-O. Uh, grounded on the 8th of March, um, just outside the Lahaina Boat Harbor Channel. Now, the boat's owner told the, the DLNR staff that he was hiring a salvage company to come and remove the vessel. So far, so good. Um, uh, he was informed by the DLNR that he was prohibited from going anywhere near the Hawala Stone or the Birthing Stone because of its cultural significance. A few days later, the DLNR staff noticed the boat was almost on top of these stones. So they, on the 19th of March, they posted uh, about the incident on Facebook saying that they were taking control of that incident. They told the owner he was not allowed to board the vessel. He was not allowed to get anybody else to board the vessel and they were going to take control of it. Now, we got some video footage through that you're looking at right now and some photographs from last week, the week ending the 23rd of April, showing the boat is still there. So the DLNR took control of the situation on the 19th of March and on the 23rd of April, the boat was still there. That's over a month. Uh, I don't understand that. There doesn't seem to be anything happened with that vessel. It doesn't have any lines on it to prevent it from moving. It has an anchor in the water, which was probably there at the beginning. It's still right in the same place. It doesn't have a boom around it. It doesn't have anything. And there's no people around it at all. So very strange that they haven't done anything. Now, some of the locals said that the boat was due to be removed this week. And they think that it's going to be lifted out of the water with a crane. Now, we did contact the DLNR for a statement. So they replied, looks like the salvage will happen the first week of May since there is a high tide then. A contractor plans to install sandbags around the birthing stone to protect it before they remove the vessel. They will then pull the boat away from the birthing stone and remove the top structure and then the engines. After that, they think they can lift the vessel onto a low boy trailer and haul it away. I don't understand why it would take so long to move what is essentially a small vessel. I'm sure the owner would have moved it by now had they let him uh, uh, try to, but it's kind of understandable why they did what they did, but it's not understandable why the boat is still there a month later. But that is a very uh, pe a peculiar situation for that boat to be there for so long, isn't it? Now, if you're in Hawaii and you know any information about this story that we haven't covered here, please be sure to get in touch. But. It also means that because now Antigua owns this vessel, any maintenance for those um, generators would have to be paid for by the government of Antigua. Now, this is where the second part of the story comes in. We've also heard from another source who wishes to remain anonymous that apparently the US are not 